Welcome to a very quick The Last Leviathan tips. I'm going to be doing the COG class ships. Basic ship building. Let me go into my favourite little ship. It's kicking about here somewhere. Doomed to failure. Now, this is an ugly little ship. As you can see, I've removed some blocks from it. I'll just chuck them back on whilst I talk. Now, some tips for this game. Firstly, manoeuvring. One of the, the biggest mistakes to make when you're building a ship, especially a little one like this, is to put your rudder too low. If I was to put it there, and my ship went near an island, I would be in danger of knocking this off, because the bottom of my boat is above where the rudder is. Stick it up so that it's in line with the bottom of your ship. If you have a particularly big ship with a really deep draft, you can potentially put it even higher. As long as it's in the water, you're fine. That's the main thing. It has to be in the water. Much like propulsion. Propellers, you've got a selection of them in the movement menu. These have to be in the water to work, obviously. Sails don't. But the thing with sails is you have to pay attention to the direction of the wind. Um, and I'm too lazy to do that just now, so I tend to stick with propellers. The wind direction is indicated on the bottom left. Right now it's blowing from the south. So I would have to be try to keep my sails in a direction that caught the wind best. Right now I can go up to six knots with this little ship. Oh, oh, eight, eight. I've never seen eight before. That must be a, a glitch. Six about right, I would say, when I'm, I'm moving about normally. Weaponry. Now with weapons, you have to think about the balance of your ship. Now you can see my ship sits quite low in the water. It does bob around a little bit, but it's in no real danger of tipping over. I've used this ship a lot, and although it looks like it's all over the place, I'm not going to tip. I haven't been able to do that and I have tried. Actively tried to do it. It just won't do it so I'm fine. But if you do feel that the ship's wobbling a little bit too much side to side, move your cannon inward slightly. I originally had these on the very edge and it wasn't ideal. It moved about a lot more. Move them in slightly or move a combination. Maybe move some in, move some out. You, trial and error. It, de it really depends on the shape of your your um, your hull. Now, what I'd, I would suggest people do when they're, they're building their ships is take locks off like I had in the beginning to see how it handles when you've lost part of a side. Some ships will flip and that's a bit embarrassing if you lose half a side and suddenly a ship flips over. Try to build a little bit of resilience into them by taking sections off. Now you can click on a cannon and zoom in, but what I would say, although this is more fun, because you can single fire or you can fire a broadside with spacebar, it's actually a good idea to practice with this third person mode. I'm gonna gonna sail away from this guy for a second. Just to explain this. You'll see this little ring around the mouse pointer. Now, that indicates how level my ship is with my intended target. So if I stop here and turn round, this is probably not going to work, incidentally. It's, uh, there's a hell of a swell out here. If I stop and I put my mouse pointer over it, you can see as my ship moves forward and back, or rather side to side on the waves, the mouse pointer's changing. Now if I get parallel... Move a little bit forward. You want it so it's like that. So it's lit up. Realistically you're not going to get that though. You want as little white, as few white quadrants around that ring as possible to do damage. I'm going to sail away so I can do that again. So if you've got white like that, your aim is shite. Okay? White is shite. You don't want to be doing that. You want to get as little white as possible around the mouse pointer before you aim. And even then, it's a bit of a science and a bit of luck. But that's quite a distance. I'm not parallel. I'm not, I'm not even parallel to him. I'm firing. I'm dipping down slightly now, so I want to wait. I was a bit too late there. 
There you go, go up that thing. So that's general rule of thumb. Waves do get in the way. That's one of the big problems. And you see he's dipped down below me again. I've got him now. Can't, I can't possibly miss. And I do. So the devs have said they're going to be adjusting that um, in the future. I don't know when they're going to get round to it, but this will get improved, I think. I, I, I just can't see it staying as is. It's, it's still a bit too fiddly. I did, I mean, if you look at that, um, there's no way I'm going to be even near them. And that's because if you look at the quadrants, it's telling me that I'm too far to the right. So if I moved, move forward, you should see the right hand quadrant shrink. That I've got a miss on that. That was pretty damn close. Let's go straight into the water. Here it comes, the bottom quadrant's going up, fire. That is close, that is close, you've got to admit, that was pretty close. That's just shallow. So it is possible to get them from distance this way, but it's nowhere near as easy as just zooming into cannon and doing trial and error this way. Because I can just move that up slightly and fire. <laughs> now he's ducked down under the waves. This is much easier, especially when you're moving, than third person mode. That's why I think they're going to tweak that quite considerably in coming patches. I think they'll have to. I mean, this is how Sid Meier's or Sid Meier's Pirates was played. This sort of view, and it's, it's how a lot of people like myself would love to play this game. So hopefully they'll adjust it so that we can target that a little bit easier. Come on, here we go. There we go. So it's trial and error. It's worth practicing because if you don't and they do adjust it so that it's a little bit nicer, you you know, if you're playing against somebody, you'll probably be at a disadvantage. It's pretty cool seeing it like that anyway. I'm not lined up. There we go. Anyway, as you can see, I need to practice as well. Anyway, I hope that was uh, vaguely helpful. Probably not. Very much doubt it was, but um, there you go. I do try. <laughs>